Oh yes, the, the slash tool. That was another cool, cool thing. I can see that really valuable on, uh, being really valuable on, uh, on, on just, on just regular, um, clothing patterns you, you've, you've made and you want to make them a bit more, um, interesting. Uh, I should have just left that, shouldn't I? Yeah, I thought that was very nice. I should have just left that in uh, in place. Yeah, so this I thought was really, really cool. I think you take this and then you go and make it's kind of a whatever zigzag line you want or even curve points. And now this is an internal line. Whoops. This is an internal line on on the 2D pattern. So I think I can go and cut and sew. And now these things, well, they're technically still together, but they can now be two different materials. I think that's the that's the exciting part. So you can go and uh, and make all kinds of so basically, you, I, I would I would think you start with a fairly simple sloper, but then you start making those kinds of fantasy ridges in there, and and all of a sudden you have you have something like fairly fairly fascinating that you can you can do variations with. I haven't tried it with with curve points yet, but I think that is also possible. Can we can we just turn them into curve points like so? Oh, add curve point, convert to uh, add, add curve point. Shall we do that? Oh, there we go. That's nice. Add curve point. What? So that's just the right click then. Add curve point. Add point. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. That is how you do that. Nice. Double clicking selects the whole line. This is great. The 3D pen. Exactly. And you start basically with just something really simple, like a super simple shirt. But then if you slash it up like that, that is that is just super cool. And then, yeah, either cut or cut and sew. And each of these can then be a different uh, fabric. That is just that is just awesome, isn't it? I mean, the variation that you can get really, really simply if you know the right tool. That is just so cool. Oh, excellent! Thank you, Christina. That'd be good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that. Maybe we can do that as well. 